There is somewhere on Earth where people are as isolated as astronauts. It is a place of extremes. There are sub-zero temperatures. In land, the air is too thin to breathe. And the long winters come with months of darkness. It's called Antarctica. For those overwintering at the Concordia Research Station, the experience is similar to being on another planet or the journey getting there. So ESA has teamed up with the British Antarctic Survey to study how humans survive conditions that resemble a long-duration space flight or staying on the Moon or Mars. Because with all access to the station cut off during winter, getting home soon is out of the question. At one point, I did consider my decision to come. But when the last plane left, there was no way back. We'd passed the point of no return. We were now just 13 people with no way of rescue, even if things went wrong. The Concordia station even resembles a potential base on the Moon or Mars. Inside, there are labs and recreational areas. But being confined with the same group of people can cause the same type of physiological and psychological stresses experienced by astronauts on the International Space Station. These types of experiments are ongoing, and ESA astronauts Samantha Cristoforetti and Tim Peake have both sent words of encouragement from the space station during their missions. Being in Antarctica during winter means never seeing grass, children, open water or animals. You might experience problems sleeping or loneliness and also have to be prepared for an extreme environment in many ways similar to the Martian surface. Like one time we went outside and the straps on our stretcher cracked instantly because of the cold. But then we had our minus 80 that day. At 3,000 metres above sea level, oxygen levels are low and studying its effects can help the design of future spacecrafts or habitats. Scientists can also monitor how the body adapts to prolonged darkness and altitude. But mental health is equally important. To monitor our mood, we recorded so-called video diaries, and these were later analysed by computer software, which tried to figure out um, how we felt, regardless of what we said. The crew complete questionnaires, have blood tests, and undergo scans of brain activity and structure before and after their stay. All this information helps medicine and physiology but is also crucial to assess how astronauts will perform when millions of kilometres away from Earth. The activities of ground-based Antarctic astronauts like Beth Healy, who spent a year on the base, is therefore informing the success of future space missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond.